it, it, I mean, it's just another game, but it's, it is something special. I mean, I remember as a kid, there wasn't all these games. You know, it was like Monday Night Football was all you had. And if I was nice, if I didn't ask too many times, my dad might let me watch the first quarter. But most of the time I had to go to bed. So now it's just like, man, I'm, I get to be on the field and there's some kid somewhere begging to watch the game. And so it, that makes it pretty cool. And Ben Roethlisberger is 16-6 and six on Monday Night Football. Hi, everybody. I'm Missy Matthews. Welcome to Steelers Live presented by Microsoft Windows 11. Since the Steelers are preparing for their Monday night matchup when the Chicago Bears come to Heinz Field, that means there's no practice report today that will start on Thursday. Friday we'll have one again, and then Saturday will be when the status report comes out. But as you heard from Ben Roethlisberger, it's still Ben's day here on Steelers Live. And he was asked about the emergence of Zach Gentry and what he's seen from him so far this season. Gentry was targeted five times in Cleveland. He had three catches for 39 yards, the one a big 24-yard gain. He's played 61% of the offensive staffs in Cleveland. Obviously, Eric Ebron was out with an injury, so it was just him and Pat Fryermuth. But here's some more from Ben Roethlisberger at number 81. You know, Zach reminds me a lot of Matt Spath, um, a guy that, that takes pride in his work, um, kind of an unsung hero, maybe doesn't catch a lot of balls, a lot of touchdowns, doesn't have big stats, but will always put the team first, um, does the dirty work. You watch Matt, um, Matt, I called him Matt in practice every day too, and he laughed at me. Zach, you know, pulling and getting his, getting his nose dirty in some of the blocks, and um, you reward him with some catches, and, and he just – He's a team first guy and it's fun to see. We also had a chance today to hear from rookie center Kendrick Green and Ben Roethlisberger was asked about him as well and just the improvements he has made. As Ben said, he hasn't played a lot of snaps at center going from college to the NFL, but he is making leaps and bounds and he hopes that that continues. Here's more from Ben and Kendrick. He's still learning. He's still growing. I mean, we still tell people, uh, I'm not sure how many games he's played at center and it's life but it's not very many um, and so uh, I'm just proud of him I told him that um, after the game that night sent him a text of just how proud I was of his play and um, just keep doing it uh, I feel like you know the more reps we get together the more comfortable uh, I not only will I be with him but he'll be with me which I think is more important um, you know what I mean and uh, just kind of getting a feel for what he wants and what he understands you know I'm learning new things from him each and every week you know he teaches me like he teaches me a lot he's like another coach you know what I mean that's how I kind of look at it so all right, and sticking with rookies, there you see rookie running back Najee Harris. Ben said he wants to be more than a running back. Najee involved in offensive line meetings, spends a lot of time with them as practice as we have seen the run game grow throughout the last three games that they have won. Najee has had more than 100 scrimmage yards, scrimmage yards excuse me, in the last three games, so that seems to be working. And Kendrick Green th thinks getting the run game going and throwing more will really, really help this offense. Like I said again, like we're not, we're not content yet. So it's not like we're you know we're we're easing off the gas pedal at all. You know we want to keep making jumps each and every week. We want to be a team that can run the ball uh, just as well as we throw the ball. All right, and in case you missed it on Tuesday night, the Steelers announced the color rush uniforms will be coming out for Monday Night Football. It is a fan favorite. The players love them as well. Looks great under the lights, and it will be fun to see. The Steelers, by the way, are 6-1 when wearing them, so hopefully that streak will uh, get a little bit better when Monday night when the Bears are here. Thanks so much for joining us here today on Steelers Live, presented by Microsoft Windows 11. Don't forget, on Thursday, our matchup show is coming your way to get you ready for Steelers and Bears. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you then. What's up, Steelers Nation? It's James Washington. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Steelers official YouTube channel. Thanks again, and here we go.